In summer, hot winds whip across Africa's Sahara Desert into the Atlantic Ocean. These winds ignite with ocean heat, sending warm, moist air up towards the colder atmosphere. The Earth's rotation gives these winds a twist. This year, scientists predicted stronger storms due to the unusually warm seawater, probably caused in part by global warming. In August, people prepared for a hurricane called Katrina as she headed towards Florida. And in New Orleans, music producer Alan Toussaint continued writing songs. Hurricane Katrina is now moving across Florida, weakening as it passes over the Everglades. When it enters the Gulf of Mexico, as Katrina moved back over open water, the storm drew new strength from an abnormally warm stream of water called the Loop Current. Now this year, the Loop Current was two degrees warmer than normal. And with much of its wetlands buffer washed away, New Orleans was considerably more vulnerable than it had been earlier in its history. I'm Nick Spitzer. This is American Roots. You know, I've always thought of this show as, as having a Creole point of view. And Don Vappi is the Creole banjo man here from New Orleans who's brought back an instrument, the banjo, that really isn't heard as much in jazz these days. Welcome to American Roots, Don Vappi. Et là-bas, et là-bas, et là-bas, chérie, comment ça... This is my old neighborhood. The levee breach put six feet of water in my mom's house. Well, we're here. We found out the other day that three of our neighbors drowned here. Joe was like the neighborhood dad. You know, he was like everybody's uncle. He drowned and the water came up in the middle of the night. I remember Joe telling me one time, because he used to always say, you know, he said, man, I'm so proud of you, you traveled. I don't know, it's completely messed up. Just completely messed up. Preserving and displaying one of the largest archaeological finds in American history was an enormous challenge. We began learning the delicate and intensive science of artifact restoration. Today, one of the most technologically advanced preservation laboratories in the United States is located right here in this building. In it, we Tunica Biloxi preserve our own past as well as that of others. Let these artifacts tell our story of a spirited culture embraced by the sun and borne by the eagle feather that cherishes our past and builds for our future. These marshes are nursery to waterfowl, fish, and more than a third of America's shrimp catch. But through most of the 20th century, their value would be measured by what lay thousands of feet under them. It was clear that coastal Louisiana should be a major oil province. The oil industry got involved, but they had difficulty in exploiting for the product. All of their technology was land-based, so they pro tried to transfer land-based technology in a wetland environment. It didn't work. So they had to go back and rethink how they would drill for oil. This machine conquered Bear Terry Terrebonne's trembling prairies, but its tracks scarred the marsh. Canals were dredged for heavy drilling rigs, and more canals and more canals, pathways for toxins that degraded water quality. Once the appropriate harvest site is found, a dredge barge is moved into place. When harvesting begins, the cutter head descends. A slurry is sucked in and travels along the pipeline to the restoration site. 
As the slurry exits the pipe, it is formed by machinery. As one area settles, the pipeline and machinery are shifted to pump in an adjacent area. Once the site is raised to the specified elevation, all machinery is removed, leaving a minimal human footprint. Declines of, in birds have been documented over the last few decades. The actual cause of that decrease in many cases is unknown, but we suspect several things. One is loss of breeding habitat as we're converting our natural forests and grasslands to non-native habitats. One is loss of habitat in the wintering grounds, and that's received a lot of public attention, the loss of our rainforests, for example. But another that hasn't received nearly as much attention is the loss of habitats that these birds require during their migration. And it hasn't been until the last few years that people have really started to focus uh, on, for example, these woodland habitats near the coast that are so important to birds. Both Circum Gulf and Trans Gulf flyways cross Louisiana making this area a major stopping place for migratory birds. Louisiana is very important to migration because what we have is we have a lot of songbirds and we think about birds that are breeding in the eastern half of the United States. They winter in South America, Central America, and Mexico, and they cross the Gulf of Mexico and they come into Louisiana. And they'll stop over and, and a lot of areas, even small areas of woods, but they'll stop over to rest, to get food, to drink water, to rehydrate. Be the right club today. Yes! Yeah.